YouTubers, I'm with SpongeBob 101 back here again on the SpongeBob channel, and today we have SpongeBob Comics issue number 76, Untitled Part 1 of 2. Alright, so um, this issue was actually released last month um, in January. I still haven't gotten to pick up the latest issue that just came out uh, a couple of days back. I'm recording this on February uh, 19th, so it's the same day that this should be going up. Um, but yeah, hopefully we get that one in soon so I can do a review video for you guys. But anyways, we're gonna open this thing up and take a better look at it. So I'll just take it out in plastic first. Alright, so SpongeBob Comics uh, issue 76. So the water is disappearing. So yeah, I know I haven't been doing videos for a very long time. Um, just this week, there was the I Love Spongebob Marathon. Um, yeah, but I was thinking of doing episode review videos for that, but I don't particularly have a lot of time. So, you know, if I can fit in later, um, I'll do it um, right after I finish this video and something like that. But, yeah. Alright. So, this guy. Quest for Water Part 1 Story and Layout by Jay Lander Pencil and Pencils and Inks by Greg Shigel So, yeah, again I'll just let you guys pause wherever you want and uh, you can read it So basically this kind of sets up the story So they're just in the crusty crab and the pearls running away So suddenly There's this big suction and force Alright, sucking force that this sucks all the water out of the Krusty Krab. They're all out of the Krusty Krab. And uh, this is not normal. Yeah, of course it isn't. So. Abandoned restaurant. More like the, the restaurant abandoned them, but you know. <laughs> so they figure out that they might as well just hide in the tree dome. So that's what they do. Grab a bucket. Yeah, so the name is Fish, 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 Fish. Oh yeah, you guys fish. <laughs> well, that's everybody. So yeah, uh, Mr. Krabs realizes that Pearl is still missing. So SpongeBob, Mr. Krabs, and uh, Sandy are gonna find her. So yeah. <laughs> That's the direction all the water in Bikini Bottom went. <laughs> what a coincidence, okay. And Patrick is... Well, I miss out this free chocolate. That's not chocolate, Patrick, it's mud. And see the wizard? Uh, no. So yeah, wizards give me the crispies anyway. Look at all the fish are <laughs> stuffing the heads into the mud where there is water. You just gotta have the right footwear. So Plankton then turns out to be stowing away in Mr. Krabs' uh, suit, so yeah, he's going to go on this great big adventure again. And then the encounter this these pipes and there is a giant jug or jar okay it's a huge jar I mean look look at it they're so small and the jug's so big <laughs> so those must have been some really big pickles and the worst part is okay now back in bikini bottom everybody's making themselves at home and Squidward just says something really obvious. We, someone please tell me how a middle-aged crab, middle-aged single crab, has a daughter who is a whale. 
And so apparently the bikini bottomites uh, just don't get it and call him a jerk and that's so wrong and you offend me. Oh, come on. No, but that's a, that's a real question that hasn't been answered yet. So, you know, well, <laughs> maybe we'll find out the answer soon. It's not been a really concrete answer. I mean, of course, Mrs. Uh, Mrs. Krabs could have been a whale. I mean, but you know, this is a, this is a cartoon, so yeah, I guess things can happen. And Pearl is being held captive, and who's responsible? Who indeed? It's hard to imagine how my head's going to help with this, but I'm hopeful. <laughs> To be continued. So yeah, I'm really excited. No, after I, I read this, I really was uh, quite excited for the next part because, you know, I really want to know what happens next. That's uh, a good thing about Spongebob comics. Float, uh, so I'll give this a 4.5 out of 5. Floatsome and Jetsome Ocean Facts. I was a fish out of water by Maris Wicks. Okay. To be continued as well. Four out of five. Okay, so this one is barbells on the beach. This year I'm gonna get into shape, Patrick. I gotta exercise. So he tries to lift the weights and he can't. Story by Sam Henderson, art by Stephanie Yu. Lifting weights, I see. Mind if I try? <laughs> so Larry lifts it without any trouble. Weights are fun, you'll love it. Now let me try this one drop. Patrick, if I can't, what makes you think you can? You're no Larry. Let old Patrick show you how it's done. So he tries to lift it. <laughs> and his arms pop off. Well, I tried. Oh, uh, well. So yeah, again, his limbs grow back. What if you just roll it? It's so heavy. So, um, Larry removes the <laughs> uh, weights and uses them as coasters and they can't even lift a pole so we couldn't even lift the smaller one now how can we lift that monster not lift silly so we're kings of the beach we're the biggest tall ones in all of Goo Lagoon when we go strong they go high what does that even mean so what's the point <laughs> you know what's the point that's not even funny I'll give it okay the art I'll give it a four but the story I'll just give it a two I mean Seriously? Okay, this is probably one of the worst storylines in Spider Comics to date. Just <laughs> utterly miserable. There is no point to it. Okay, Spun Funnies by Kachalka. The punchline. Okay, I'm not interested in your crude jokes, SpongeBob. I'm only, in, I'm only interested in fine art, music, and literature. Oh, yeah? Well, listen to this one. Okay, so, and the blah blah blah. So, school refuses to laugh. Okay, so the next one is Don't Laugh. Monday, you're not gonna laugh. Don't you think it's funny? So, <laughs> I'm bugged. ETC, and finally, Squidward starts laughing, and then Sasha's like, I don't get it. <laughs> I don't get it. Oh well, okay, I'll, I'll guess this is, I guess this is a little bit funny. 3.5 out of 5, yeah. Okay, build a boat. So, a story by David Lumen, Pencils and Inks by Greg Shajal. So, okay, they're gonna make a model of a boat. So let's see. Hmm, after all, I've got two weeks to live. Bummer. <laughs> so they go jelly fishing, blowing bubbles with playing tic tac toe and bubbles, Mermaid Man Marathon, and two weeks. <laughs> the good news is you're still alive. Okay, uh, so he can't figure out which boat he wants to make, so he's run out of art supplies. And he tries to get them from Squidward. Sincere face SpongeBob. <laughs> um, so yeah, it doesn't work out. Gets kicked out. And the next morning, what SpongeBob was that hideous object? Made it out of dust balls, trash, and... <laughs> And it's gone. Krabby Patties. So at first when I watched, uh, when I read this for the first time, I thought they were gonna just eat Krabby Patties and get inspiration from it. 
But it turns out that they made a boat mobile, or okay, a model boat out of Krabby Patties. <laughs> a plus. I would think that Mrs. Pop would puff up and give SpongeBob an F again, but oh well. A plus SpongeBob. You printed in BC Cube at Canada December 25th. Well, they printed this on, on Christmas Day. That's weird. But okay, anyway. Uh, the Ultimate SpongeBob Comics Collection, we've already done a video for this last year, so yeah, that's available if you, are, if you guys are interested. Um, this comment, I'll give it a 4.5 out of 5. On the back, we have Rocks Look Like by Sam Henderson, lettering by Robert Lay. This one looks like Mr. Krabs, Gary. Looks like you. What are you talking about? These rocks don't look like anyone at all. I said this one, what does it remind you of? That one looks like Joey, who? You know, Joey from that thing. Oh yeah. That's, hey, where did you find that? It looks just like me. <laughs> oh well. So, there's another squid there. Four out of five. So overall, I think this issue, uh, the anchor comic is the best part of the issue, untitled. Um, we'll be doing the video for the issue 77. Soon, you know, as long as I have time to go pick it up in the local comic store, I'll make a video immediately. But till then, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to keep it right here on Anonymous Winter 101. Subscribe if you haven't liked, favorite, comment, etc. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video where hopefully I will do the episode review videos for the six new SpongeBob episodes that came out this last week for the Isle of SpongeBob Marathon. Alright, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!